Good morning world, it's Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Today I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the dock. What is the dock, how you use it, how you get the most out of it on your Mac OS. This is one of my favorite features about a Mac. It's been here for a long time, as long as I can remember. You uh, <clears throat> come down, actually that's not true. I used a Mac as a kid that did not have a dock. And I used a Mac in high school that did not have a dock. But in the last decade or two, um, they've had the dock. So the dock is this down here. It's just quick access to apps. You literally just click on it and it opens your app, okay? Mine opened, you just didn't see it because it was on my other screen. All right, so that's the dock. Mine is set that it will disappear if I'm not using it. It'll disappear and then I have to hover down here to get it to, uh, show back up let me see if i can get it to disappear for you i'll show you how you set that those settings go to system settings and choose dock desktop and dock and here's your dock you can change the size of it see that that's the smallest it goes that's the biggest it goes you can turn on magnification. I believe what this is, is it's when you hover over one. See how it magnifies it? If I make it bigger, look how big it gets when I hover over it. All right, you might like that. You can choose where it's located. It can be at the bottom. It can be at the left. <laughs> put it clear to the left. You can't see it because of my dual screen. You can put it to the right. See how it's over there. I typically have liked it at the bottom, but I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna leave it at the right for right now just to see what I prefer. Okay, actually no, let's go back to it on the bottom because that's what I'm used to. All right, what else can you do? Minimize windows using Genie Effect. Minimize windows in an application icon. All right, automatically hide and show the dock. So this is what I was talking about. You can have it hide and show. So it's gone right now. Then when I come down here, it shows back up. Gone, shows back up. Gone, shows back up. All right, I actually don't usually use that because I like to see it. There we go. Um, a couple other features I never really play with. But that's your dock, okay? Now let, let's see how you organize it. So I recommend just keeping apps you use frequently on here. Um, so let's start with removing stuff we don't use a lot. So use I use Finder all the time. I keep that there. Safari all the time. Messages all the time. Mail. I don't use mail that much. So most apps you can click and drag like this and it'll remove it. Or... I don't use maps that much on my computer, so I'm going to remove that. I use it on my phone all the time. Another way to remove them from your dock is to control click, hold control click, or right click if you have a mouse with a right click, and click remove from dock. Okay. This is your launch pad. I'd leave that there because you click on that, you get all your other apps that are not in the dock. FaceTime. I use FaceTime quite a bit. I'll leave that there. The calendar, I don't use. I don't use it that much because I use my Outlook calendar. Most people probably use that a lot. So you probably want to leave it there, but if you're like me and you don't, keep in dock. It doesn't let me move it. Oh, I think it's because it's open. Let me close that calendar. Closed it, it's gone. Okay, so now it's hidden. So check this out. If there's a dot under that application, it means it's open right now. Like calculator is open. All right, if I close calculator, it'll disappear from the dock. Or no, it didn't because it's in my dock, but I use my calculator a lot, so I'm going to leave that there. I use system settings a lot, leave that there. App store, leave it there. Pages, I don't use that much. I'm going to get rid of that. Numbers, I don't use that much. I'm going to get rid of that. Mission control, I like to use because, look, it puts everything I have open on the screen, and then I can choose what I want. So I'm going to leave that on there. I listen to podcasts a lot. 
contacts. I don't need that very often. I can search those when I'm sending messages. Um, clock. Let's close it. All right. So there you have it. These are all apps that are open right now that I do use quite a bit. I don't know if they're in my dock, actually. Let's see. Nope, it's not. Is Chrome in my dock? Yes, it is. Chrome is in my dock. I can move it down here so I can get to it easier. Let's see if Outlook's in my dock. I use Outlook all the time. That's what I use for my calendar. That's what I use for my email, everything. And it is in my dock. And then QuickTime is not in my dock, but because I don't use it that much, but I use it a lot. So let me right click. And options and keep in dock. Okay, cool. I use that a lot, so it's in there. Okay, last thing in the dock is your trash. If you need to recover anything from the trash, you can click on it and it's all right there or you can right click and empty the trash to permanently delete files in your trash. So that's the dock. Again, it's one of the best features in, uh, in the Mac. If you need to add anything to it, I don't know if I showed you this, click on Launchpad, find the app you would like to add, click and drag it into your dock, and it will now appear in your dock, okay? I don't want that one there. I don't use that very much, but there is one I want. I use a lot. It's Audible. Where's my Audible app? Audible. There you are. Let's put you in the dock because I use you a lot. And let's put you right next to podcasts because that just makes sense, doesn't it? All right. There you have it. That is the dock in macOS Sonoma. Hope you find that helpful. And please subscribe to Teach Mom How.